Hey, welcome to part 21 of my procedural node series here in Blender. Today I want to show you four interesting variations I came up with using the brick texture and then distorting it with other noise textures. So I'll show you how I did that. I'll just start off, let's go ahead and size our cube on the Z axis by a factor of 0.2 and hit Control A and apply the scale. Let's come over here to the right on the modifiers panel and a bevel modifier to make it look a little nicer. Change the segments to 5 and then go ahead and hit W or right click and bring up the submenu and hit Shade Smooth. I'm going to change this top right to my 3D viewport and change this whole middle section to my shader editor so you can see what I'm doing a lot better here. Then I get hit N to get rid of that shelf on the right. I'm also going to quickly just scroll across the top on my uh, 3D viewport here and just click off these little overlays just so we can see what we're doing a bit better and change this to rendered mode. Okay, so let's bring in a brick texture. That's going to be the foundation for all these textures. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control T so that it brings up these texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring in a noise texture and actually just duplicate it and just put it twice here and just bring in two mixers as well and just put them after the noise textures. I'm going to plug generated into color 2 on each of these mixes here just preparing for the setup. I'm just going to move everything over a little bit, give us a bit more room, and then place a color ramp right after that brick texture, just like this. Run that into there. Let's go ahead and hit Control Shift left click on this color ramp so we can see what's going on here in our 3D window. We'll start adjusting these settings here. For that first noise, we're going to set this scale to 25. And then go ahead and come to this factor for the mix. Set that to 0.97. This second noise, we're going to set the scale to 4.8. And then this second mix factor, we'll set it to 0.54, just like that. Let's come over here to the, the brick texture. We'll set the offset to 0.554, the frequency to 3, the squash to 0.1, and leave that second frequency as is. Come down, come down to the scale, set it to 1.2. The mortar size we'll leave as is. Same with the mortar smooth and the bias. The brick width, however, will change to 1.4, and the row height will change to 1, just like that. Let's come to the color ramp. We're going to add two more colors, or two more sliders into the middle there. And uh, this black, let's move this to 0.38. This one right here, we'll set this to 0.48. The one after that, We'll set to 0.6, and then these, this last one here, we're going to set to 0.72. Then we're going to grab this third one here, change this to white, just drag it up there. And this second color, we're going to change this to kind of a reddish-orange color there. Something like this looks pretty good. And then this last one, we're going to change this to a blue color, just like that. And we're pretty much done. I'm just going to bring in one more color ramp here and just... Uh, put it at the bottom here. And we're going to feed this color into that factor as well and just bring this black up to 0 0.02 just like that. And then we're going to move this uh, principled BSDF over a little bit here and just plug this top color ramp into the base color there. Let's go ahead and make a bump node and run the color into the height here and change the strength to 0 0.2 and put this into the normal. And let's take a look at this principled BSDF shader. We should be all done this first one here. There we go. Looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the second texture. And again, I'm going to bring in a brick texture here. And then just a color ramp to put right afterwards. Just like this. Feed the color into the factor. And I'm going to control, control shift left click on this color ramp to view it. Then click on this brick texture and hit control T. We'll get this texture coordinate and mapping node. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to bring in one noise and one Voronoi. So let's go ahead and place that right before the noise. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first of all make sure distance is going into vector there. And then let's bring in two mix RGBs and just place them right here. Make sure generated is going into the bottom of both of these here. Just like that. So let's go ahead and set up the settings on these nodes here. For the Voronoi texture, we're going to change the scale to 2. For this mix here, the first one, we're going to change the factor to 0.56. For this noise texture, we're going to change it to 4.8. And for this second mix, we're going to change it to 0.54, just like that. 
Then for this brick texture, we're going to do some similar things here. We're going to change the size to 0.554, or the offset, pardon me. Frequency, we're going to change to 3, the squash to 0.1, and the second frequency we'll leave as is. Come down here to the scale, and we'll change this to 7. And then the mortar size, we'll leave at 0.02. Mortar smooth, we'll leave as well. Same with bias. Uh, the brick width will change to 1.4 and the brick height will change to 1 just like that then let's take a look at this color ramp here and uh, we're going to just bring this black up to 0.48 and the white will put it 0.6 and we're gonna bring in one more slider here and just change it to 0.72 uh, this bottom one instead of black we're gonna change it to kind of a reddish orange color again here just something like this looks pretty good. This middle color we'll leave it white, and this last color will change to a blue again. Let's create another color ramp here and just place it up top and change the interpolation type to constant. We're going to bring this white down quite far to 0.39. Let's plug this color into the factor on that color ramp here, and this is actually going to control. Uh, between, we're, we're going to actually bring in one more shader and a mission shader and mix the principled and emission together. And this is going to be the factor from that color ramp right there. So let's take a look at what that looks like so far. Got to plug this into the base color as well. That'll make a bit of a difference. And we're going to bring in a bump map, or bump node, pardon me, and just plug the color right into the height right here. We're going to plug this right into the normal, just like that. Let's change this color on the emission shader to something like a golden yellow. Just like that. Let's bump up the strength a little bit. Why not like 1.3? Just like that. That looks pretty good. All right, we're done the second one. Let's check out the third texture here. Again, we're going to bring in a brick texture. And let's go ahead and just bring in a color ramp and just place that right afterwards. Make sure color is running into factor. Let's click on that click on that brick texture and hit control T. It's going to bring up this texture coordinate and mapping node here. And we're going to bring in a noise and a Voronoi again, just very similar to what we did last time. Let's go ahead and put two mixes in there as well, just the same as we did last time. Just after the Voronoi and after the noise, and make sure generated is plugged into color two of each one of these here. We can start setting up these settings here. The scale on the first Voronoi, or I guess the only Voronoi, is going to be 4.6. This first mix factor is going to be at 0.7. This noise, the scale is going to be at 0.7. And by the way, let's view this. I should have uh, turned that on there. And make sure this is coming out of distance, not out of color. It's going to give you some different results. The second factor is going to be at 0.167, just like that. Let's come over here to the brick texture and uh, we're going to set the offset at 0.554 the frequency will change to 3 the squash to 0.1 and the other frequency will leave it 2 let's come down to the size or uh, the scale and, and set this to 20 the mortar size will leave as is same with the mortar smooth and bias then we'll come down here to the row width change it to 1.4 and the row height is going to be at 1 Let's take a look at this color ramp here. We're going to add one more uh, slider in the middle there. We're going to change this black position to 0.48. Then we'll change the second slider to 0.6. And then the blue, or pardon me, the last one here, we're going to change to 0.7. We're going to change that to blue. That's why I said that. So why don't we do that right now? Let's go ahead and just put this up a little bit here. Maybe make it a bit darker. Looks pretty good. This middle color, we're going to change this to white. So just bring it all the way to the top. This bottom one, we're going to change it to kind of an orangey red, just like we did last time. Something like this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and bring in another color ramp here and just place it up top. Change the interpolation to constant and just run this color from the brick texture right into factor. We're going to grab this white slider and bring it down to 0.39. So you can see what that looks like. That's going to be, again, a mix shader factor right here. So let's plug that into right here. And we're going to run the principled into the bottom one. Make sure this color is going into the base color there as well. Let's view that mix shader. And we're going to run a diffuse into the uh, other uh, input on this mix shader here. We'll just change this color to black when it loads in there.
just like that. Let's go ahead and bring in a bump node and just run this color into the height and just plug this into the normal. And there we go, we're done texture three. Let's take a look at the last texture. Once again, we're gonna bring in a brick texture. Let's bring in a color ramp and just place it right afterwards. Make sure the color is going into factor there. And let's view that color ramp there. Let's go ahead and hit the or click on the brick texture, hit control T, bring up this texture coordinate and mapping node. And this time we're gonna bring in a noise texture and a musgrave texture. So let's go put ahead and put that right before the noise texture. And then as before, we're gonna bring in two mix RGBs and just place it after these two textures. And then we're gonna run the generated output from the texture coordinate into the color two on both of these mix RGBs, just like this start setting up these uh, settings here. For the Musgrave, we'll change the scale to 4. For this first mix, we'll change the factor to 0.56. The noise we're actually going to leave as is. And then the second mix factor, we'll change to 0.63. Let's come over to the brick texture. We'll change the offset to 0.554. The frequency of that to 3. Then we're going to change the, what is this, squash? Yeah, squash to 0.9. Leave that frequency. Come down to the scale, change it to 8 change the mortar size to 0.05, change the mortar smooth to 1. We'll leave the bias as is, and then change the brick uh, width to 1.4 and the row height to 1, just like that. Let's go ahead and make sure this color is going into the base color on the principal BSDF. It'll just save us some time. We'll just view it through there. So we can actually plug this color right into the roughness, and uh, we will also duplicate this color ramp right here and just move it down. And we'll just move this principled BSDF over a little bit here. And let's bring in that bump map. Might as well just do that right away. Plug this color into the height. And we'll change this bump to 0.3 for the strength. And just run this right into the normal, just like that. Let's bring this black up to 0.2. We'll leave the white where it is. Let's come up to this color ramp here. This is going to be our color here. So I'm going to bring in a third slider. And let's set this bottom slider at 0.21, just like that. This middle slider, we're going to set this at 0.45. And this third one, we are going to set this at 0.8. For the colors here, this bottom one is going to be kind of a yellowish gold here. Something like this looks pretty good. The middle one, we'll leave it white. I guess actually I have to change it because it's a gray color there now. And then this last one, let's set this to kind of a dark blue. So I guess it looks pretty good. One final quick step here. Let's go ahead and control shift right click drag from one of these color ramps to the other one. And that's going to create this mix RGB here for us. And let's just change this to multiply. So there we go. We're all done that fourth texture. You know, hope you could see what I was doing and how you might change this around. There's a lot of things you can adjust here, and a lot of them will make a huge difference on the outcome of this final texture. So I encourage you to really play around with this stuff. You'll probably come up with some really funky results. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching.